friends. I was naive and really thinking like this, but I thought I was done waiting and I was all ready to go. You know, my heart and my mind were all set um, to, you know, enter the convent and be a sister and everything. And then it's like I got hit by a brick wall and God was like, nope, here are a couple months for you to just not do anything and to just sit there and yeah, but wait, what, God? Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. And, like, what am I supposed to do now? And he was saying, Tanya, no, no, you're not ready. Okay, guys, I know I'm not alone in this. Maybe you're waiting to hear God's voice on a big decision, or you are not hearing God's voice at all, and you just feel like, well, you know, what am I doing? Or um, God is preparing your heart for something bigger, and you, you're just like... But what do I do with myself? I know patience is hard. It's hard to deal with. I'm really impatient, so I hate these times in my life where God is just like, eh, Tommy, I'm just gonna sit back and, you know, give you this time to grow. And I'm just like, no, God, like, I don't want it, but I need it, don't I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we all go through these times in our lives where we're like, God, where are you at? You know, I know you're close to me, but what happened? Where'd you go? I like to think of these times in my life as times when I can show God my love for him. I know he's asking me to grow, though he might not be super apparent to me, I know he's close to me. And I get to say, okay, God, I love you so much. I'm going to continue growing closer to you. Let's talk about what to do in those times. The first thing is to not fall into despair. It's really easy to do, but that's what the enemy wants you to do. Because you're on this high, you're on this Jesus high, and you're like, yeah, God, like, I know you, I feel you, I see you. And then all of a sudden, you feel like you're put on pause, and then you're just like, what? And you're just like, wait, I was feeling all these things, but I'm not anymore. And, like, your mind just starts going crazy. But it's okay, you guys. Don't fall into despair. Be confident. Continue doing the things that you're doing to grow closer to God. There is a saint, uh, I forgot who it was. If you know what I'm talking about, please tell me who this was. He said, like, when you're going closer to a light, you know how your, like, eyesight kind of goes and it, like, goes black? Well, that doesn't mean that the light's not there. You're actually growing closer to the light. So, think about that to your relationship with God. When you're growing closer to God, there are going to be moments where it kind of blacks out and you don't see anything. But does that mean God's not there? No, you're growing closer to him. So do not fall into despair. Know that God is even closer to you in these times. Another thing that we can do is talk about it. Being able to talk about our struggles or frustrations during these times with people that we trust, we are able to name it and claim it and just get it out of our heads. And, you know, more often than not, there's other people going through the same thing. So being able to talk about it and sharing those experiences helps build your spiritual life up and keeps you strong in those moments. And my favorite thing to do during these times is to look to Mary. You must be thinking, like, why Mary? What did she ever wait for? You know, she's the mother of God. But her entire life was waiting. While I was discerning and I was struggling with, you know, just going back and forth and not knowing and everything and just feeling like I'm in this period of, what do you want from me, God? And like, I don't know what to do and I don't know if you're there or whatever. She said, Tanya, look to Mary. Mary dealt with this her entire life, okay? She waited nine months for the Son of God to be born, okay? Then she waited another 30 years for him to begin his ministry. Then she waited another three years for him to die which she knew would happen but didn't know how. And then she waited the whole rest of her life to be assumed into heaven where she could be close to God closer than ever. And she did it with grace and confidence and she's just a beautiful model um, and person that we can go to when we're dealing with things like this. If there's anybody who knows what we're dealing with, it's Mary. I want to tell you guys that I know it's tough, it's hard, I understand, I get it but it does become easier over time. And know that God is closer to you right now than ever. You got this, okay? If you got any questions, you know the drill. Tweet me at Tborsolino. I am praying for you, and I will talk to you soon.